yo what is going on guys welcome back to the show stream i haven't really even tested out my um my volume let me make sure everything is goody all right it sound, sounds pretty good to me anyway welcome back to the show stream i hope you guys are having a good day out there i've looked at the crypto markets um i know some of the stocks were looking pretty good earlier it's kind of like you know a give and take depending on uh, what you're invested in today's title is dca man dollar cost average man i know there's a lot going on right now we got the whole having getting closer and closer every moment and um people are hype about it man there's a lot of bullish news out there that's getting sprinkled daily and people are bullish on bitcoin man but this uh market is so manipulated man that we got to make sure that we're being responsible man but before we even start talking all that all that jazz let's go ahead and uh switch things over i actually don't got my chat out here let me get my chat out all right looking just about good all right let's switch this up if you have not subscribed to the channel make sure you go ahead and do that man come through every single day 8 p.m eastern time or every single evening uh we do this shill stream might miss one here and there but for the most part people just come here to vibe shill any project without really being called a shill we like to just talk about everything we'll say it's garbage if it looks garbage you know but we try to show love to everything man we want everybody to win um and we have a lot of fun man talk about stocks investing long-term investment accounts crypto of course the main one and we really just enjoy each other's company man especially in a time like this covid and everything going on it, 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 it's definitely a time for us to, you know, get some some knowledge from each other about financials. Mr. Lodak, what up, bro? There's so many people that can't work right now. We got to be smart with our money, man, for real. Can't be running into no situations. So I'm going to start taking myself out of my thumbnails. Um, I was putting that little weird picture of myself. Just it felt fun. But like. I want to see if it works a little bit better draws people in um i might even take sh nah i'm gonna keep show stream in there but anyway um if you are on the replay hit that like button man and for everybody else i start I'll, I'll remind them on their way in let's check out my youtube studio that's something else i like to talk about is uh just see how youtube is going i actually lost a subscriber so they must have caught it they must have caught the you know what i'm saying they must have caught that thing <laughs> pause that's a classic pick though hey lone sigma what up bro i'm testing it out though it is a classic pick though man it is the funny thing it came from um my going all in on eos video like a year or man was that more than a year ago probably man it's probably two years ago almost i don't even know so we at 3,500, man. We need 500 hours. We getting there. I figure every day, do the show stream. My real, my real rights. Y'all come through for me, man, all the time. Probably get like a, you know, 15 hours or something like that from a stream. So, you know, we could do this in in, in, in quite some time. Let me see. 500, right about 15. We could do this in a little over a month, man. Maybe two wow mitch got a warning and stream taken down for selling goods goodness gracious man it's getting ugly out there man they already kind of putting a tax on on btc you know this is why man i don't know man i don't even know what to say i don't even know what to say auto banks what up bro keeping it up man i'm keeping it going man y'all y'all right here with me man Yo, um, so yesterday I talked about maybe uh, doing a sponsored video. I asked you guys' opinion. I said, go get that bag, bro. So um, I responded to them. They hit me back. 
so i'm gonna do the, the sponsor video on friday so uh slight chance of no stream uh but video so maybe no stream but still a video and um i'll probably do a giveaway as well just you know i like to split the bag do a little giveaway um and it's lit you know that's it man matter of fact what well, I think I know what I'm going to try. I think I'm going to try to maybe do a giveaway and tell people you got to come to the stream. <laughs> tell them you got to come to the stream on Saturday or, 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 or on Monday or something like that. And it's going to be live. So looking at the um, looking at the crypto markets, man, Bitcoin doing good today, man. Bitcoin doing really good, man. Man. Crypto quarter crawler, what up, bro? Yeah, that's that's grimy, man. Is is Mitch? Is he good though? Is his channel up? Did they suspend him or anything like that? I haven't watched Mitch in a little while, man. Stream twenty three hours ago. Was that from today's? Um, was that from today's stream? Just a warning. That's crazy, man. That's so crazy. I hope. Yeah, this time, right? Man, they be just, they be coming at us, man. I seen um, Chico Crypto try to post that it's Ripple's fault. Like, bro. Wow, the stream is gone. This is a uh, Chico Crypto said uh, Bitcoin shadow ban. Ripple to blame? Question mark. Man, that's been going on since before Ripple, bro. But Ripple supposedly did file a lawsuit against um, YouTube, and it's like, man, the rules might change, man. If that happens, like it's over for a lot of cryptos, bro. Not not Bitcoin, but a lot of other cryptos for sure. Don't know what to tell you, man. Don't know what to tell you. But that's messed up, man, that they made his stream get taken down. That's foul. But, um, yeah, so Bitcoin doing good, man. The mar uh, the dominance is kind of going up. I don't... You guys probably can't see it from here. But Bitcoin dominance is going up, as you guys can see. 66.9%, just about 67%. Um, It's getting up there, man. It's getting up there. You know what? Before I forget, um, library, man, this is my backup joint right here. All of my stuff goes onto library. Um, and I just pulled it up today. I just claimed like a bunch of, uh, dang, I didn't even know I had 62 followers on library. Wow. That is so crazy, man. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> I did not know that. That's cool, man. So people are watching on library. That means that's dope. That's really dope, man. Um, I actually got to claim some um, rewards just for integrating it with my YouTube channel. So now I got like 640 LBC. Let's check out LBC, man. I could have swore I just seen it on on um, either biggest gainers or losers for like today or yesterday. Probably today on page two. Three cents. That's like $18 I got worth the library. And that's a little more than uh, 600, so that's cool, man. You know, that's cool. A little $18, you know, maybe I, maybe I could bring that up to like $20 and go swap that for something else. Not bad, man. It's crazy when you let these things kind of stack in the background, it's like, next thing you know, it's like, oh snap, I got a little something I could buy a meal with. Hey, Dominic Kennedy, what up, bro? Hope all is well, man. I hope y'all had a good day. I had a pretty long day at work today, man, but it was still a good day, though, you know? Like a busy day, like tiring and everything, but I feel motivated, man. It made me want to just keep grinding, you know? I was having a convo with one of my boys, man, and it's like some of these some of these folks at work, you know, they taking things for granted. They not understanding, like, when I say for granted, you know, slipping, and it's like, yo, bro, it's not just... It's not even just about, you know, respecting the company, bro. Have some respect for yourself because 
You go out there right now, it ain't gonna be easy to find another job, man. But um, yeah, this is pretty dope. It sucks that it's down nine percent right now. Um, would have been nice to see it go the other way, but let's see where it's been. What it's been doing over the past month? It's been growing like everything else. Wow, it actually tripled. But like, just like everything else, yeah. You know, that was from from the dip that we had. Kind of like tripled in price. Oh, you sent me twenty bat. Yo, thank you, bro. Damn, yo, that's what's up, my man. Thank you, man. Much appreciated, bro. I didn't check um, I didn't check my uh, bat today, but I seen something said someone sent me um like sixteen bat, but I think it was from the. It said it was from the ads. That would be crazy if they took that big of a chunk, but it was from the ads. It must have been a, a, a different one. Nah, that's what's up, bro. I'm gonna I'm go check out my Brave um account today. Probably catch that out. Little 20 here, little 20 there, you know, library credits, brave. You know, it's like, okay. Next thing you know, you got $40, $50 that you could just throw into, you know, some ETH or something like that. Help you with your DCA, man. Today, we talking about DCA, man. Dollar cost average. Oh, okay, you just barely sent it. All right, so that, that was probably definitely not it then. But good looking, bro. Thank you, man. Good looking out, man. Uh, much appreciated, bro. Much appreciated, man. And it's cool that we use these these decentralized systems. Well, Brave ain't really decentralized, but you know, that we actually use in crypto. We're not just talking about it. Like we're actually using it for what it's made for. Like this browser is legit made for what you just did. And we use it like it's normal. And it's gonna become more and more normal for more and more people. Matter of fact, I seen on Twitter, um, check out Twitter. Check out Andrew Yang, man. I seen him. I seen him say something about basic, like uh, about Brave browser the other day. Was it on here or it might have been a response? I think it was a response. Yeah, maybe not. It was probably a response, but still, it's it's getting it's definitely getting on people's radars. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely getting on people's radars, and it, we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. If you're not following me on Twitter, it's kind of easy to reach me on there. Um, so, you know, you can follow me on there. It ain't nothing. It's easy to find me here, too. I, I say what up to everybody. I talk to everybody. So, you could always catch me on here at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Hey, Pseudo Greek, what up, bro? Hey, whoever's in, hit that like button, man. We got, we got to spread the word, man. We got to spread the word, man. Oh, I got 10 max on my tips. Um, yeah, I think I do probably. Whoa. I think 100 max on my tip. I got to add some funds into my joint. It says 100. I'm not asking for no 100. <laughs> I ain't asking for no 100 at all. But 110 and 100. Maybe that's just for Twitter. Okay, that's my standard on Twitter. And then let's see. Yeah, okay, one, five, and ten. One is 18 cents. I mean, I ain't greedy or nothing, but maybe I should step it up a little higher than one, right? <laughs> yeah, I think, I'm, I think I'll think i step it up a little higher than one. Kind of like what I did here, man. Looks cool. It's weird, but it's cool. Um, Dang, what was I talking about? Yeah, um, I seen... Somebody, he was talking about web browser or something like that. Hey, what up, Crypto Mike? What coins is what coins is popping off, bro? Crypto Mike in the building. What up, man? But yeah, I seen Andrew Yang um, respond something about Brave. He was like, Brave is cool. So, um, you know, he's a tech guy. He keeps his eye on the radar, man. He keeps, he keeps his eye on the radar for sure. So let's see what really went up today. Red coin. I haven't heard anything about Redcoin recently. I don't know what might have made Redcoin pop off like this. Um, but, you know, uh, coins have their days, man. I ain't chasing none of this stuff just because they have, like, their day. Okay, look, they're executing a soft fork consensus upgrade to move to its proof of stake. POSV, because I don't know what the V stands for. V2 staking algorithm. Okay, so that's what it is. That must be what it is. 
said red might pop big okay let's check out their website then data and digibyte i was thinking about doing a link video i got a spot a little sponsor and i gotta put the video out friday and i was thinking about making it about link i could do whatever i want I just need to you know speak about their platform Let's check that out, which you said about ETH. Said ETH might be um, bouncing off support against Bitcoin pairing. Yeah, ETH hasn't been doing the greatest. Uh, I'd rather look at Coinbase, even though I know Binance is huge. Ooh, is it is it the moving average that you're looking at? Is that the 200 day moving average actually? Yeah, I think it is. Amil, what up, bro? Oh, you said Link is your number one favorite coin? Man, I thought it was um I thought it was a uh, XRP, bro. You still rock with XRP or or just not as much or just Link took over or what? But yeah, this might really be um, bouncing off of support against Bitcoin. And to be completely honest, whenever I see, you know, Bitcoin dominance going up like this. Bitcoin dominance is just about 70 uh 67%. It's at 66.9. And um I do think that Bitcoin's been having a bigger increase than most of the major altcoins and is we're definitely setting up for a nice pump. Either that or Bitcoin's going to dump after the having. But um if Bitcoin does not dump after the having, I think that uh we're gonna see a nice pump in altcoins for sure. So XRP is gonna melt faces in the year later on in the year. Okay. You're just talking about straight through here, huh? Yeah, this is looking pretty clean. Some people do it off the, you know, whatever. Some people who do it off of this. But it's all, it's all one and the same. Yeah, look at that. Clean, right at the closings. Pew, on a daily. Phenomenal. Ooh, so we might just get a nice run up. I'm bullish on ETH kind of always, but um, I I might go ahead and try out the, the ETH bull, which is crazy. <laughs> H Boogie must have known that's what I was about to say. Uh, a mill said our alts really gonna pump soon i personally as long as bitcoin doesn't dump you know bitcoin gives us the overall sentiment of cryptocurrency as a market but as far as um alts go as long as bitcoin stays where it's at or continues to rise i think alts are definitely gonna pump after the halving because I think everybody right now is putting their money into Bitcoin, putting their money into Bitcoin. And um, we're going to have to just see, man. Yeah, let's check ETH USD. Yeah, it just... <laughs> Look at ETH USD. Looks terrible. Past few days, it's been going down. But, um... Yeah, I don't know here. This could be the biggest bear flag we've ever seen maybe <laughs> i would hope not yoshi what up bro mike i know a lot i know most of the people in here don't really rock with xrp you know me i got love for every project yeah alts are gonna run bro yeah
man what do you think so you know what so check this out cash app they said their q1 revenue <laughs> most of their revenue came from bitcoin could you believe that most of their revenue came from bitcoin that's crazy yo that's bananas to me bro squares revenue most of it came from bitcoin honestly man like i like i kind of like the fact that square only has bitcoin but a small part of me just would love to see them have ethereum as well just at least ethereum like okay you got bitcoin and ethereum and that's just it i don't want them to become like a coinbase but their fees are way lower so it's like i would love for you know an alternative to coinbase even though there's ways you can you know lower your fees on coinbase but man I, I i love cash app man and uh yeah emil said uh cash app is a better on-ramp than coinbase i absolutely agree and crypto mike said uh buy square stock i have it <laughs> i definitely got square stock it's like it's a must-have man it's a must-have the way i look at it like i got twitter stock and i got square stock because jack dorsey is bullish on bitcoin and he's pushing for bitcoin to be the currency of the internet he's pushing for that he's not only just like riding the wave like he's pushing for that and if it wasn't for this whole virus situation he'd be in africa right now trying to set them up with bitcoin i don't know where he's at but probably not in africa he'd be in africa right now because that's that was his plan was to spend around like six months or majority of the year in africa helping them get set up and what better platform than square um and the ceo of square to help them get set up with bitcoin and and and, and point of sale systems and things of that nature Yeah, a lot of people are thinking that there's going to be another um, big stock market plunge. Wow, there's some weird, um, weird things that I'm seeing on here. A lot of people do think there's going to be another big stock market plunge. And um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So what they say, uh, three hundred six million dollars of Cash App's $528 million in revenue from the first quarter. Damn, Cash App, they killing it. They killing it. Almost half a, like a little over half a billion in the first quarter? Wow. Wow. Imagine if they would've did like a simple, um, a little simple thing on Cash App about the halving. That'd be crazy. Okay, so they said, despite these numbers, Bitcoin composed a small fraction of Cash App's profit. Only 7 million of 183 million total profit. So that's a big, that's a big, you know, a big difference from the actual headliner. But revenue is always very, very, very important to see that money consistently coming in. Businesses like to see that. They like to know like, okay, you can generate money. You can generate revenue. But seven million in profit out of three hundred six million, not the greatest, not the greatest. Um, so what they say? They said, "Wow, look at this." The company explained why it separated Bitcoin revenue as being more of a core mission. What's that mission? Y'all know what the mission is, man. The mission is to get everybody easy access to bitcoin man and um straight up i use cash app not only for bitcoin i use it to transfer money and i use it for stock investing it's the easiest way to invest in stocks you can buy um fractions of a stock you can put a dollar in if you want to and on, on freaking 
Tesla, you could you could put a dollar in on whatever you want, man. Berkshire Hathaway, you don't have to buy the whole thing. Put five dollars into Amazon. So I already use Cash App for stocks. I use it to buy my Bitcoin. I use it to transfer money. Like Cash App is where it's at, bro. And the fact that they say a core mission, let's see. They say we deduct Bitcoin revenue because our role is to facilitate customers' access to Bitcoin. When customers buy Bitcoin through Cash App, we only apply a small margin to the market cost of Bitcoin, which tends to be volatile and outside our control. Man, those are some good people, man. Tommy Brown, what up, bro? Mass adoption is the mission, man. Hey, I'm telling you right now, DCA, man. I, I, I do DCA straight through Cash App. Hey, Jonathan Del Rio, man. What up, bro? Glad to see you, man. This is this is uh, good news for me, man, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I wonder if my Square stock probably went up, matter of fact. <laughs> Square been kind of struggling, and um, I'm wondering if they actually did anything good. Said you're convinced that Stellar has something to do with the digital dollar. Man, I was pissed. I was pissed off at Stellar for a while, man. I still kind of like, like, almost oh, not to really rock with Stellar after they um they burnt all of those uh those tokens because I think like it just went against the whole argument of cryptocurrency having value when they could just burn so many tokens. It's like half a billion tokens or something like that or a billion dollars i don't remember exactly what it was but it was crazy hey tommy brown man you never late here bro we do this stream almost every day i'm trying to get back to every day so a lot of people ain't gonna make it on many 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 days and i'm never gonna feel away man hey a mill shouted you out he said man um you know the marathon continues man tmc for sure bro I got a dip for a sec, but I want to jump on the status app group chat. Yeah, so I, I actually did um, download the status app. And um, let me see if I could send something. Invite friends. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to post it on my Twitter. Oh, man. I'm going to post my, um, my status on my Twitter. All right. And then either today or tomorrow, either today or tomorrow, um, y'all could just jump in. My bad, peoples. I don't mean to. I don't even know what my name is on this, man. Where is it? Okay, I'm about to share it onto Twitter right now. Boom. So anybody could just jump on uh, my Twitter if you guys want to just if you guys want to check out status and we do like a um, a group chat or something like that. Boom. You can just click it like that. They give you a name. They give you a name. Uh, it's low key money on underscore low key is spelled L-O-K-E-Y not not with a W. So you could just hit hit it up on Twitter just click that right there click on the link and then boom just like that they like I said they give you a name but I'm gonna get I'm gonna do the ETH name service and upgrade my name I was trying to trade on Kyber matter of fact I'll probably try to do that right now now I'll do that in a little while because I don't know if there's anything private you got to do with that but um yeah stingy dark slate gray northern northern pike that's that's your boy <laughs> That's your boy. Okay, I'm about to follow you back, homie. Got you. Got you. Man, so did y'all see that um there's some meat shortages, man? Costco, Wendy's, and others limit meat purchases as production shutdown shrink supplies. Bro, imagine going to Wendy's and they like, yo. Two junior bacon cheeseburgers max, bro. That's the cat. No cat. <laughs> Let's see. Uh 
man so think the dollar will use an existing blockchain or DLT I don't think so I really don't think so They might, they might fork something, you know, like existing technology, but they want to have control over it. That's their, that's their whole game is to have control. It's just, if, if it were up to them, they would leave it as it is. And they've said they, they don't plan on doing it like soon, soon, but if it were up to them, they would leave it as it is. It's just too expensive. Yeah, I agree with Mr. Lodak, man. H. Boogie said, remember, Wendy's are fresh, never frozen. Yeah, they they do say that. So, you know what? I guess I guess I understand they can't they can't store meat. They might have to take back, take that back. Might have to be like, yo. <laughs> never fresh, always frozen. I think um, altcoin for of the week for me is gonna definitely be uh, Chainlink. I think I'm gonna definitely scoop me up a little link, little linky. So let's check out, uh, see what Redcoin is is about, man. Redcoin is supposed to be like a basic attention token kind of, man. Redcoin is the original social network tipping content creator and micro donation cryptocurrency. Uh, it was originally forked from Litecoin. Products currently on Redcoin blockchain include Red ID, the Redcoin Core Wallet, and Redcoin Proof of Stake. Yeah, it doesn't sound like enough for me. It, gosh, whenever you see these type of wallets, guys, it's just like run. That they, they're they're nowhere. I'm not saying really run like it's a bad project, but you know they've gotten nowhere, bro. What are these called? Like these old school wallets. It's no bueno. Stellar recently partnered with Abra and Elliptic within the last week, and both are controlled by Digital Currency Group, which was created by members of the Federal Reserve. Man, see, this is why, I, yo, so for anybody that don't know, um, Crypto Mike, who's in here, man, Crypto Mike, he does a lot of research, man. Oh, so you definitely still rocking with XRP. That's what's up, man. Gotta stay true to your, to your roots. My man's does a lot of research, um, straight down the rabbit hole. I mean, like, jumps right in, gets his hands dirty right down the rabbit hole and we'll show you all the connections talk about it on his live streams definitely go check homie out man definitely check him out hey just follow crypto mike back on the twitter let's see A hey, crypto quarter crawler said Mitch Ray is back on the um on Twitch. I might have to go check that out. Thank you, bro, for saying you're gonna stay with the squad instead, man. Mitch Ray got the pop and stream, man. I can't even I can't compete with him like that, man. I'm not here to compete anyway, but still, it's like he got some fire, bro. I'm de I definitely look up to a lot of the stuff he got going on. Redcoin is a straight pump and dump, bro. It's going to pump hard, though it seems could be a thousand percent pump. Sheesh. Let's check out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out over the past three months. Ugh. You ain't kidding. You are not kidding. Oh, Crypto Quarter Crawler said I put him on the Mitch. That's what's up, man. I, I like the fact that, um, 
man, we gotta watch like show love to each other, man. Certain channels and stuff, they be like, yeah, I know the ones too, man. They be hating, man. Yeah, Flexicoin. So what's going on with Flexicoin? Man, Flexicoin, I think came down, right? Man, what was what was I thinking about? Yo, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I've been seeing a lot. I know dude's gonna laugh at me, but I've been seeing a lot of news um with Telos. So I definitely wanna check them out in a second. But Flexicoin, man. It's supposed to be like a payment processing kind of a point of sale payments. There you go. And they're supposed to be like integrating all these different cryptocurrencies in the back end to be able to just make it an easy point of sale kind of situation with like instant, right? God, be careful with the, yo, the, not be careful, but like, yo, these, these simple sites be the ones that know they have the technology. They'd be like, we're not even trying to impress you with the looks. It's the technology. Mr. Lodak said, um, I was banned from Mitch's channel at one time. LOL, I was on the wrong side of the Mitch Matt thing. Dang, I don't even know what the Mitch Matt thing is. The Mitch Matt. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know much about um, Flexicoin. I actually learned a little bit about Flexicoin from Crypto Mike. Uh, I came through one of his live streams, like perfect timing, and he was busting down a lot of the data of what was going on with uh flexicoin this might be something to just keep in a back pocket a little something i want to see what's going on with telos man i've been seeing a lot of news on their like um on their twitter like something about games and stuff so i've seen this What is it? Marketplaces, yada, yada, yada. A lot of people from Africa is rocking with Telos, man. Three gaming partnerships. I don't know, man. I'm still, I'm still. Even though I said, you know, I'm going I'm to take it easy with a lot of the shill coins. It's like, you know, you got to have a little bit in the back pocket, man. I'm going to just keep on DCAing into my Bitcoin and Ethereum. Just throw a little in alts, a little Kyber, a little chain link, a little engine. Maybe a little Telos. I know a little Telos just in case. You know what I'm saying maybe... Maybe something like Flexicoin, because this is not the first time I heard about this. Something like uh, UOS Ultra. You know, a couple things, man. Just sprinkle it sprinkle it around. You might get some good gains, man. Gemini Pay is already up and running, but they haven't even made an announcement yet. Next is Coinbase Pay. You can pay directly with your wallet. Coinbase Pay? Is that like a thing? I know they got the Coinbase Commerce. Let me see, Gemini Pay. Low key. Yeah, Ultra Ultra is definitely that's one that I'm 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 really paying attention to, man. Um What? These guys are using Flexa? Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. These guys are using Flexa? Tell me that. Tell me they're using Flexa. Flexa Coinbase? 
Nah, I gotta, I gotta find out more about this, man. That Flexicoin might have to get cop. Fees, what's goody? I was listening to that. What, yo, crypto, yo, fees is in a building, man. What up, fees? We was asking about you like a couple weeks ago, like a one or two weeks ago. Like, yo, where the homie fees at, man? Like, yo, hopefully he's surviving, bro. Trying to catch back up, huh? You ain't the only one, man. It's been a, it's been a, um, it's been quite, quite difficult lately, you know. Gemini Pay uses Flexa Network Protocol. Oh man, I need to know more about this, uh, this Gemini Pay. Okay, the day has finally arrived. You can now live on crypto. Paying with crypto is simple, secure, and free. Spend your crypto in retail stores. You can now spend your crypto at more than 30,000 retail locations across the United States. Oh my God. This is what I've been waiting for, man. Protect your privacy. Never worry about a credit card. Data breach with Gemini Pay. Transactions are private and secure. No transaction fees. Put away those high interest credit cards and use your crypto instead. Gemini does not charge fees. Oh, this is this is looking wonderful. Hey, shout out to Crypto Mike, man. He, he putting me on right now, bro. I didn't know that they, they started using this already. Spend your dollars in Gemini dollars. Use GUSD to avoid the price volatility of other cryptocurrencies. Hmm. So when Coinbase uses it, um, I don't know if you got you, there's any staking rewards for GUSD, but when Coinbase, you know, when you hold your your um, USDC in the wallet, you get like a little interest rate, one point something percent, like one point two five, which is much higher than banks. And if you could use, you know, if you could keep your money in USDC, maybe, and use this as a pay method, or use Coinbase's version on Flex's staking app. It says Coinbase coming soon. <laughs> Fee said, where you buy flexes? Let's see right now, man. Um, I'm pretty sure you could probably get it on Kyber, right? Let's see. This, this is barely down, a little sideways movement. Everything else is doing just about the same. Oh, yeah, you can get it on Kyber, Bitrex. Um, Bancor, which I don't know if Bancor is cut off or not. This is dope. They haven't made announcements because of the lockdown. That makes sense. Yeah, you need Ether to buy it. Hey, Fees, you been uh, releasing anything recently? Like, is it just Fees, Inc.? Oh, fees is starting from scratch. I actually kind of like the idea of that. That's something that I kind of a little bit wanted to do at one point. So I commend you. Tesla video. Hey, keep it up, man. Um, I did a video on my channel about um, a new crisis is coming. It's a little, a little different different kind of video it wasn't nothing to do with crypto but still economy stuff you feel me yeah this i don't understand 85 million dollar market cap but it's ranked 219 so what does this say right here this listing is not eligible for normal ranking this is why we're gonna go ahead and go over to um coin gecko see what they what they got it ranked as 100k views deleted sheesh bro you should have just made them unlisted um what was i gonna do oh flex a coin i'll be losing my memory quick sometimes man hey shout out to every hold on oh on blockfi and gemini is the custodian wow 8.6 percent on gusd wow Hey, uh, shout out to everybody that's watching right now. Thank you very much for, for being here. Hit that like button, man, if y'all don't mind, man. Just take a quick second, hit that like button. You know, let the algorithm pick it up. 
Um, so where is this ranked on here? Wow, I got a question mark on the market cap. Why is that? What's going on? Does it have to do with some circulating supply stuff or what? It's a very, wow, 100 trillion? Am I bugging? Nah, 100 trillion coins. One of the prices is so low. Thousand, millions, billions, trillions, yeah. Sheesh. Hey, good looking, fees. Yeah, this is definitely like a nice little altcoin to just throw in a clutch, man. Nice little altcoin to just have in the bag. You know what I'm saying? This, UOS, like, yo, matter of fact, um, Crypto Mike, if you don't mind, I think I want to do a flex a coin video. I'm, not that if you don't mind, like, gotta give permission or anything like that. But I think I'm going to do some more research on this. And I'm going to make... Uh, what the heck just happened? Yo, which one of y'all just did a crazy, um... Bro, what is going on? Did y'all see that? If y'all didn't see that, go back a few seconds. Y'all gonna see a 46% increase on Flexicoin. What was that? Was that a glitch? Or... It's one of you guys just do a crazy market buy. <laughs> Yo, don't let the shill get to y'all, man. <laughs> don't let the shilling take over, bro. <laughs> oh man, what just happened right there, man? Yo, we got whales in the in the, in the stream, bro. Remember when I told y'all, man? I be feeling like sometimes I talk about things. And, and then suddenly I just see it happen in, in other people's videos. There's a, there's some whales that's low key watching right now, man. <laughs> you don't like it already? <laughs> well, let's let's look at the charts real quick. At least the the coin market cap charts past month. Yikes! Past three months. It's been kind of sideways. Everything took its dip. This is definitely one that, you know, I'ma just, it's just keep, keep in the back pocket. You know what I mean? Keep in the back pocket, but definitely do some more research on because this right here, matter of fact, um, Coinbase Commerce. Yo, you wanna know what's crazy? This dude told me, man, he doesn't really, um, he doesn't really shop online very often. Uh, but since everything's closed, he wanted to buy something. I think for his girl, maybe for for Mother's Day. And um, he was like, the guy said he didn't, he didn't get the money or something like that. I'm like, what you mean? Like, what did you use? PayPal? He was like, nah, Coinbase. I said Bitcoin. I was, I was real proud of homie. I'm like, Bitcoin, huh? This is somebody I would never expect to do that. Loki got the whales circling. Yo, the whales is in here, man. Hey, don't don't get nervous and leave, man. Don't get nervous and leave. Can we do an interview? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I definitely so let me see. Was it BlockFi? Is that how you spell it? Yeah, BlockFi. Okay, so what's... Because on BlockFi, they say earn 8% interest on almost everything. Our rates. GUSD, wow. Annual percentage yield, 8.6%. Wow, 4.5% on ETH? That's 6% on Bitcoin, and this is tier one. Okay. Greater than five is 3.2%. Withdrawal limits.
What's the Mississippi crypto pairs? <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, 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 crypto pairs only. Okay, bro. I thought this was like, I thought it was like Florida, which is where I live right now. And then I thought this was the results or whatever. Like, bro. Yo, fees, man. Don't yo fees. Look at the title of this video, man. DCA, man. <laughs> DCA, dollar cost average. Don't catch the shills, bro. Don't catch the shills. Take it easy. Throw a little dub on it, a little fifty maybe, and chill out. Yeah, BlockFi. I get spammed with them all day, bro. Oh man, uh, Crypto Mike, I know you, you got a nice bag off of Digibyte, bro. Digibyte, they just went crazy, man. And they, I think they had a good day today too. Like another 12% or something. $2 billion stimulus pop. <laughs> oh man. H Boogie said he DCAs with hundreds. Woo. That's what's up. My boys, my boy Fees is getting money out here. I'm a dollar cost average, my little, a little 500 a week. <laughs> Digibyte, let's see. Um, We was looking at this the other day. Wow. Goodness gracious, man. Um. Yeah, Digibyte just went bananas, bro. I would take profits. Not financial advice, but I would take profits. Busy, what up, bro? Said I'm checking Zill more lately. And it's like 7% on ETH on Celsius right now. Zill is still a um is still a ERC. It's a coin. Oh, you mean like um Celsius is not a ETH, ETH uh, based exchange? Hmm. It was like 0 0.006 in April. Dang, they took a little hit today though. Hit that all time facts. Did you buy hit that all time? Did they? Nah. That'd have been crazy. Digibyte, Red, Zill. Who's Bo? Palmy. Let's check that out. Somebody on YouTube? All right. His name's Gold2024 Cast. Lodak. You know this guy? <laughs> I know Lodak gotta know this guy. Hey, my boy Crypto Mike hitting that algorithm, man. BCH might start doing well after the halving. That's true. Bitcoin Cash, yeah. Kind of forgot about them. But they, they, they got a strong community. They've been quiet though lately, right? Hasn't Bitcoin Cash and SV just been like eerily quiet? Hmm. Damn, Lodak don't know this guy? I thought you knew absolutely everybody in gold. <laughs> All right, we gonna have to definitely check him out four days ago. Gonna, um, how you do watch later? Is it just save? Boom. All right. I'm gonna check them out on the watch later. Whenever I'm just pay not paying attention to anything, I'm like, okay, check them out.
Mm, okay. Yeah, so not gonna lie to you guys, this is gonna be the little homework for me, man. Is uh checking out what's going well not the Coinbase um commerce, but checking out what's going on with FlexiPay on the back end with Gemini. And I'm I might I might start rocking with this this Gemini joint, man. Yeah, so for Flexa, you can just go to Kyber, man. Go to Kyber Swap. Go to Kyber Swap. Ba boom, just like that. Just log in with your MetaMask or your Ledger. Boom, boom. E Flexa. Copy just like that. That's how you can copy. I'm not telling you to copy. Yeah, way easier when you do it like this. That way you don't have to sign up for an actual exchange or anything like that. But sometimes you might get it at a better price, especially if you're gonna put hundreds. Maybe, you might get it at a better price. Fold app, let's check that out. Earn Bitcoin every time you swipe the fold rewards card. Gosh, up to 20% cash back. I wonder what this like what the average is. Yo, what if Cash App does something like this? You know how many people already have a Cash App card and they already give rewards? Like, man, could you imagine? Buy prepaid cards with credit cards or Bitcoin at your favorite retailers and check out instantly in store, online, and an app. Wonder if there's a good uh, loophole here. <laughs> they got hotels.com. Trying to think Lowe's. Trying to think of big purchases. All right, I'll check this out. There was something else that I um, was supposed to set my card up for. I began these cards and I'm like, man, I don't really plan on spending my crypto like that. But if it had, if I had it just like this, where I could just simple on the app. Oh, so that's what I was gonna say uh, before I get out of here, cause we about to wrap it up in a sec. Um, I'm keeping my eye on metal, man. I'm keeping my eye on metal. They, you know, maybe not the, maybe not metal, maybe the proton. Maybe proton, which is like their new coin. It's been going down in price. I'm like, yeah, keep going down, keep going down. Um, but basically metal. Oh, so that's what happened before. Maybe it was a glitch real quick. Metal, they got a good app. Um, you could buy, sell crypto on there. I don't know if you could deposit cryptos on here though, but you could withdraw Bitcoin. You could withdraw your ETH. You could withdraw a couple of coins that's on the main net. Um, I think EOS is another one. And then you can invest in, in some other ones. And um, they're trying to do something with that Proton, man. I don't know exactly what it is, but they're trying to make it easy to just make payments something similar to this but include your bank account in the mix or oh, some kind of nonsense so i'm just keeping an eye out i'm not putting any money into it not yet at least anyways man i'm about to get up out of here thank you everybody for coming through to the stream i feel like this was a pretty fun night all over the place but it was pretty fun um remember like i said i got sponsored content coming up it's just 30 seconds of just you know putting out this uh exchange that they got going on so um support that but i'll be doing a giveaway at the same time well i'll be doing a giveaway because of it so uh appreciate y'all man hit that like button on your way out 
Catch you guys on the next vid tomorrow, 8 o'clock. I'm out of here. Peace.